Assalamu alaikum students, welcome to English class. Today we are going to start our new lesson that is University Days. It's an essay written by James Grover Thurber, an American author. Here are the objectives of our today's lesson. Okay, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to analyze passages in the text to identify the theme, general subject, key ideas. You'll be able to recognize that the theme of the text is carried in a thesis statement. You'll be able to apply critical thinking to answer the questions, to make inferences, and to comprehend, interpret text by applying it. So here is the text. I have highlighted a few sentences, few phrases, a few words so that you are able to understand as we are not going to read it uh, word by word. Okay. The first sentence, if you look at it, I passed all the other courses that I took at my university, but I could never pass botany. Now, the first sentence is the thesis statement. All the other information is related to this thesis statement and it proves it. Whatever opinion, whatever information or examples are given, they revolve around this thesis statement. And the thesis statement says that the writer, James Thurber, he was not good at botany and he was never able to pass the botany test at university. Then he gives and he proves it through different examples. The, the essay is full of uh, funny and humorous situations, sentences, and exchange of words, ideas, and sentences between the writer and his professor. And why this was happening? This was because all botany students, they had to spend several hours a week in a laboratory looking through a microscope at plant cells. And I could never see through a microscope. Now, he tells his situation. The writer tells that he was unable to see through a microscope. And he, he tells, I never once saw a cell through a microscope. So this was his situation. And what was the result of this one? This used to enrage my instructor, enrage to make his uh, instructor or his professor angry. And he would wander around the laboratory, pleased, uh, pleased with the progress uh, of all the other students who were drawing, who were looking at the structure, but the writer was unable to do. Okay. Then uh, he was, uh, the writer would be told that, uh, see, all the other students are doing and you can't uh, do your work. So what would be the reply of the writer? I can't see anything. And he would begin patiently enough. Now, this shows the attitude of the teacher, how patient he was. He would explain how anybody can see through a microscope, but he would always end up in a fury. But then uh, after explaining, he would end up the situation in an angry mood, claiming that uh, the writer could never see through a microscope. And uh, why he couldn't see? Because he was pretending. He, he pretended he couldn't. Actually, he could see. So this was the idea of the professor about the writer. And then what would be his response? Very funny. It takes away the beauty of flowers anyway. I used to tell him, no, why? The writer couldn't see because he was of the view that if he would look at the flower through a microscope, it would take away the beauty of the flowers. So uh, his response again, it would be very funny. We are not concerned with the beauty in, in this course. The teacher would tell that they were interested in the mechanics of flowers and not the beauty of flower. And then again, he would not um, uh, admit his mistake and he would say that I cannot see anything. So in this way, he was unable to see and he, would, uh, he was unable to progress in botany class. So uh, the first uh, paragraph, it talks about how uh, the writer was unable to see anything through a microscope. Then the second paragraph, um, I finally took a deferred pass, a deferred pass. Uh, the meaning is also written over here. If you can see the second last word, deferred, it is put off or postponed. The writer would have to appear in the retest after one year. Okay, And here he tells the situation that after one year, how does he appear in the class and what would be the behavior of his uh, professor? Uh, I finally took a deferred pass as they called it and waited a year and uh, he tried again. You had to pass one of the biological sciences or you couldn't graduate. This was uh, what was told to him. The professor had come back from vacation brown as a berry. Now, the description of the professor is very funny. As use of simile over here. He was as brown as a berry. Brown as a berry means he was very tanned. 
His skin color was very tanned, uh, bright eyed and eager to explain the cell structure again to his classes. Now it shows the uh, teacher's attitude when they come afterwards the vacation, they are full of enthusiasm, they are full of energy and they start to teach everything in a new way. Well, he said to me cheerily when we went, we met in the first laboratory hour, hour that semester. So his teacher was very eager that he would be able to learn this time. But what else he would tell? We are going to, uh, we are going to see the cell structures again. So again, he would ask the question, aren't we? And his reply would be yes, sir. And uh, students to his right and left, they would be seeing cells. And what's more, they were drawing pictures of them in their notebooks, of course. And of, and of course, what was the situation of the writer? Of course, I didn't see anything. His situation was same. It, it had no difference. We'll try it, the professor said to me grimly. Now the professor was seriously when he looked at him and he was doing nothing. With every adjustment of the microscope known to man, he said that I'll make you learn the structure uh, of the uh, cell and I would adjust the microscope in any way. As God is my witness. Now here the, right, uh, the, the professor makes God his witness and he tells that I'll arrange this glass so that you could see through it or I'll give uh, or I'll give teaching. Now here see look at the situation of the teacher. He says that I'll make every arrangement to make you see the uh, structure of uh, cell or otherwise uh, I'm going to give up teaching. In 22 years of botany, I, now these are the words of his professor, he cut off abruptly for he was beginning to quiver all over like uh, Lionel Barrymore. Lionel Barrymore, he was an American actor or stage director. Now here the writer gives his example that my teacher would start quivering and shivering like Lionel Barrymore. And uh, he generally wished to hold on to his temper. He wanted to control his temper, but all his scenes with, uh, with the writer, they would end up in an angry situation. So the last paragraph, it talks about how they tried and what was the result. So he uh, tried with every adjustment of the microscope known to man. With only one of them did I see anything but blackness or the familiar lectal opacity. And that time I saw to my pleasure and amusement a variegated constellation of flecks, specks and dots. Look at the situation of the writer. He was again unable to see anything. Lectal uh, opacity, it refers to something resembling to milk and it was unclear and he could see only the um, displayed uh, different colored spots, uh, different flecks, specks and dots. And he hastily, quickly he drew those spots and specks and dots. And uh, when the teacher, he looked at him, uh, he not noted his activity. He came from an adjoining desk. Uh, a smile on his lips was there and his eyebrows were high in hope. He wanted to see something that his student would have learned. He looked at myself drawing. What's that? Now it means there was something unusual. He demanded with a hint of squeal in his voice. His voice was shrilling and uh, he demanded what, what it was that I had drawn. And I, that's what I saw. And his reply, the writer would say that this is what I saw. And the teacher's reply would be, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Emphasizing three times, he would repeat, uh, screaming that it, it seemed that he was going to lose his temper and actually he lost his temper. He bent over and squinted into the microscope. Squinted means he uh, looked thoroughly, okay? Look or glance sideways into the microscope. His head snapped up, it, his head moved up with a quick movement. That's your eye. Now, this was the response of the teacher. He was telling uh, James Thurber that it was not the plant cell. It was his own eye. You have fixed the lens so that it reflects. You fixed the lens in a wrong way that it reflected only your own eye and you have drawn your own eye on the piece of paper. So this was the whole situation. Here is a quick recap. Uh, of our today's lesson. University days, James Thurber, he does a sensational job keeping the reader, uh, reader's interest throughout the entire story. He explains his college experience in a way 
that makes the reader both interested and amused at the same time. Okay, and Thurber he portrays the message that all the uh, uh, that, that the all-star football player was not the brightest bulb on the tree, which is humorous because many people can relate to that because it's the same at their school. You might have observed many brilliant students. They are not brilliant at any uh, sorry at every subject. They might be brilliant at something, but they might be dull at another. And many dull student doesn't mean that they are. If they are dull at studies, they are dull at everything. Okay. So the author uses a creative writing style to try and capture his audience attention throughout the entire essay. He uses descriptive wording, humor, and stories that relate to the reader to accomplish his goal of telling his college stories in an exciting and memorable way and i think by the end of this essay you are able to relate many class stories with uh, that of uh, the writer okay so this was all about the university days hopefully you would have un understood and you would have enjoyed the humor presented in this essay thank you so much for listening have a good day